Now we're gonna walk up there and go to the upper town. And uh, it looks pretty cool up there. We're now at the very top. We have a pretty good view of the city. I just got these little, basically fried donut things. And um, I'm hungry, so they're okay. But they're not terribly good. So if you see them and you think it just looks really cute and cool and you want to try it, you know, pass it over. Here's a metal guy, chilling out. I should really give him a better view though. <laughs> Here's a view from the other side. Lots of the, I guess, traditional or older homes there. Church. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna head over to that church right there in a little bit. Check it out. Here's the Museum of Broken Relationships. <laughs> How funny is that? I hear it's actually pretty interesting and in this. It's not all about, oh, he cheated on me or she left me, blah, blah, blah. But uh, about uh, like relationships between emperors and other states and etc. Seems pretty funny though. If you're here, I'd check this out. I'm not gonna check it out right now though. Let's move on to this church with the awesome color tiled roof. So here's the view of St. Mark's Church. I've seen tiled roofs like this um, most recently in Vienna. And that's pretty cool, but this looks much cooler. Many different colors, coat of arms, really cool. There's one on the other side too, but to be honest with you, my back's killing me and I don't feel like walking over there right now. So let's just go down here. There's another really cool little chapel. So I think this is called the Stone Gate, but what it is, is a little chapel. And um, I think it's dedicated to the Virgin Mary. So you can sit right there and pray and light a candle. And there's a little chapel area. And here you've got uh, tiles. And I believe that the tiles mean um, that's like to remember someone, not necessarily when they were dead, but or died, but to remember like uh, just any kind of moment. I don't know that you want to celebrate or commemorate. And uh, it is really cool. The coolest thing I think is that it's actually still used today. People actually still go in there and pray. So definitely worth the. Quick look. I can't believe I uh, almost walked by this. This is the other statue of St. George I was looking for. Um, this is actually right near the place we just came from with a little chapel. And uh, this is after he kills the dragon that you can see right there. And according to the book, he is paying homage to it or sort of honoring the beast that he killed. The beast that he bested. So that's pretty cool. I like the statue because it incorporates, you know, stonework down there and then the figure above it. It's pretty cool. Here's a neat little alleyway. It goes in between some of the homes. And hopefully it'll take us to the uh, sort of one of the main hangout areas with lots of um, outdoor seating and such. And I've eaten here a couple times. The food is really good and it's not too expensive because things here aren't that expensive. And it's just a really cool, chill hangout area. You might have seen uh, some clips of me hanging out at night trying the rakia or something like that and this is where I did it and uh, it's just really really cool basically a great place to people watch and uh, get some great beer a couple places here brew their own beer really cool and this leads us back to the uh, main square also walking up uh, to the church through this tiny little alleyway and here is an uh, Italian restaurant right off that main street, Rachivica or whatever. Or not this white one, the one with the uh, benches up here. And I ate there last night and it is very good. 
So definitely recommend eating here if you get the chance. And then maybe heading up to the church afterwards. All right, this is where my battery died yesterday. So I got an extra day to go in, show you guys what it's like. Really cool uh, stonework outside. It's nice to see when that stuff is still up there. Somebody. I should really figure out who that is. But I don't want to walk all the way up there with a the camera. It'd just be kind of, I just feel weird doing that. I'd say this is a pretty cool church. Definitely go in it if you're here. I don't know that I would make, you know, a pilgrimage to Zagreb to see this church. It's um, really easy one to see. It's not like, you know, the churches in Rome where you have to take a million pictures and, you know, everything in it is just, you know, a magnificent piece of artwork. But um, yeah, all in all, pretty good experience. And if you end your tour here, which is what I would have done yesterday, you just walk down, there's the fountain to give you perspective. Walk down that little street right there and you get back to the main square. And um, <clears throat> then go and get something to eat or whatever. So it's a nice little tour. I think you can do it in about three hours or so. And um, that's pretty much Zagreb. It's a cool little city. You know, I just uh, came from Ljubljana and Bled. Not really as beautiful and put together as those cities, but really a nice city. Feel safe here. I definitely recommend it if you're in the area.